Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with cstampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to relax and craft together. I'm so glad that you're here with me tonight. Oh, I'm jiggling things already. Oh, boy. Here we go. Um, we're going to make a card tonight. What a surprise. And it's a fun fold card. I know that's a shocker, but I do love fun fold cards. Um, I want to remind you that I do send out free project sheets. Um, you can subscribe at my uh, blog, suestanfield.com. Click on subscribe for the free project sheets. You can also subscribe for blog posts. There will be a blog post coming out very soon, very, very soon regarding the crafternoon. Thank you all for your patience. Those of you who are patiently waiting for that tutorial, the tutorial is actually done. I am just working on the email for the customers and my team members, and then it will go out in the blog post. So thank you so much for your patience. It's a coming. In the meantime, we're going to make a pretty card <laughs> and I'm excited. It has been a crazy busy day and I can't wait to create with you. I hope you'll help me design this card because I don't know for sure what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and get started. Shout out to my wonderful moderator, Jennifer Walsh, who is hanging out here in the comments on YouTube. I'm hitting the wrong buttons already, Jennifer. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. There's the table. I found it. <laughs> so I lose stuff a lot. Not my table normally, but when we find it again, I say found it and we all take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what is in your cup tonight. I have ice water. I love to be hydrated. So uh, we are going to be making a card tonight. I'm going to be casing a card that I got in a swap. So um, the it's clean. Well, the section you can see is clean, Virginia. <laughs> There are piles of stuff out here, but you don't see that part, right? Mm, it's my own little, our own little crafter secret, right? Ooh, ginger ale. That sounds good. I love ginger ale. Um, so I have a card that I got in a swap, and it's from demonstrator uh, Brenda Springer, who is in Gray Eagle, Minnesota. And Brenda's card um, opens up like this. So it is a fun fold card. It's a Z fold card. And what's a little bit unique about this Z fold card is that she put a panel on the front of it here um, to make that front section bigger. And I thought that was very clever because she wanted to use this, this bigger die. And so I thought that was a, a, a very clever way to expand the width of that. She wasn't locked into this width. She just added a piece of cardstock. So how smart is that, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna, um, we're gonna create a card similar. Now, Brenda used um, these pretty uh, white butterflies. These are Compre die cut. They're in the Stampin' Up! catalog. They're part of the Perennial Lavender suite of products. Perennial Lavender has been hugely pop popular. I was very excited today when I went on the website to find out that those dyes are back in stock. For, so for those of you who have been waiting for the lavender, the painted lavender bundle um, to come back, it is indeed back. So those dyes are now available. So these butterflies, you just buy a package and you get a whole bunch of butterflies of different sizes, already die cut, ready to add to your card. What Brenda did is she used them as a template. Um, and so she, uh, uh, is that what I want to say? Templates? That's the right, that's not the right word. What, what's the word I'm looking for you? guys. Um, <laughs> she put them on the cardstock and I either spritzed it or sponged it um, and then pulled off the the um, the, the butterfly masking. Masking? Stencil. That's it, Fonda. That's the word. Mary and, and Mickey are like, stencil, Susan. It's Yes, thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. This She used it as a stencil, which is just very, very clever and buoyant, right? Because you can use it as a stencil over and over and over again, right? So we are not going to do it with butterflies tonight, but we are going to do this beautiful butter, um, boho blue paper. Oh my goodness, what a busy day it has been. Um, celebration is wrapping up and Celebration is Stampin' Up's um, event that we only have in January and February and it's almost over. And so everybody is like, Ah, I want to join and I want to order and, and all of that, which is awesome. Um, so it's just been a busy day of helping. Uh, but by the way, shout out to my new team members that joined today. So happy to have you aboard. And uh, to my other team members that joined this this month. Um, right now, if you purchase, I, I had a call today from a gal or an email from her and I called her. Um, she She's like, I, I, I need a lot of things. Um, wouldn't it make more sense for me just to get the starter kit? And it actually did in her case. We talked about it, the different options. And uh, because with the starter kit, she got $125 of her 
product of her choice for $99 and free shipping. Plus, she could either pick the glass mat studio or another $30 in products. So she really was able to get a lot of things for a minimum amount of money. And then she really, 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 really wanted <laughs> this gorgeous paper. Um, and so uh, she, as soon as she got her demonstrator ID number after filling out her starter kit, she was able to go in and order a celebration paper, place another order and get this for free. And she got to use her new demonstrator discount. So how awesome is that? All right, we're going to, and you know, this boho blue is actually very prominent in this paper as well. Um, so actually this card, if you have the boho, if you have the um, flight and airy designer series paper would be super cute on this type of card layout as well. We're going to use this one. I love the blues in this paper. This is called Poetic Expressions. You can see I have cut into this paper. I've been enjoying it a lot. And so I'm going to pull this out here. This is the pattern that Brenda used, which is gorgeous. Um, there's actually another really, really pretty um, pattern in here, right here. Now, I was well, I'm pulling this out, I'm remembering, do you remember, Jennifer? I used this recently, didn't I? Oh, will I be able to put my hands on that card? Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, for Crafternoon in December, I used this and oh my land. I've had so many things pulled out that I don't even know where anything is anymore. Mm, it's not where it belongs, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll find it. I probably maybe will. If not, if you look at Saturday's Crafternoon video, you'll see it in there. <laughs> so messy, so messy. Anyway, these two um, patterns in the pack are absolutely gorgeous together. So we got, we've got some decisions to make, but we're going to make a gorgeous card. I'm super excited about this one. All right, so let's get started with our card base. Um, all right, I'm gonna pull this out of the way. These are, so, okay, we have <laughs> we have some decisions to make and I pull those stamp sets out. Where did I put them? Here they are. So we could use the bundle, this Thoughtful Expressions bundle that has these fantastic nested dies in two different shapes, plus some fun flowers and leaves, and then four dies that match the, um, the images in here. Or we could use these same dies, but we could use a celebration freebie, which is the sophistic, softly sophisticated. These celebration freebies end on Thursday. So if you haven't had a chance to pick up the ones that are on your wish list, you're running out of time, friends. <laughs> it's Thursday is the last day. Um, so we could go with um, thoughtful expressions or softly sophisticated. So let me know in the comments. And sorry, Jennifer, I didn't tell you I was going to do this because that was kind of a last minute decision. Um, so let me know in the comments if you'd prefer to do thoughtful expressions or softly sophisticated. All right. And then while you are choosing that, I am going to cut my cardstock because whatever we do, we need cardstock, right? So let's grab a handy dandy paper trimmer here and a piece of boho blue cardstock. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Um, this particular color is one of the Stampin' Up! In colors. Um, this particular color, so Stampin' Up! introduces five new colors with every annual catalog. And the set of colors lasts for, stays around for five years. This particular color was introduced last year. So it will have another, it won't, it'll be with us until 2025. Yay. Um, I'm just looking at the choices here. Looks like Thoughtful Expressions is the winner. All right. I do see quite a few picking. Um, <laughs> Softly sophisticated. Thank you. You are flexible, Jennifer. Bless you. Um, so we'll go with um, th thoughtful expressions. I can't talk today. All right. So I'm going to cut my cardstock at four and a quarter. Are we really doing that, Susan? We should look at our measurements, don't you think? <clears throat> ha! Measurements. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we're going to score it. So let's just leave our cheat sheet over here. Four and a quarter. It's not five and a half. That is totally wrong. Susan, this is what happens when I type things quickly. All right, Jennifer, I screwed up again. 
<laughs> this should say 11, four and a quarter by 11. Oh, goodness. There we go. We're going to do it. We're... <laughs> Good thing I discovered that before I cut it, right? <laughs> what do they say? Measure twice, cut once. Mm, so true. All right. Now we're going to score our four and a quarter by 11 piece at two and a quarter inches. two and a quarter inches right here. I have my wonderful paper trimmer in play here and then five and a half. Now this is slightly different than the standard Z fold card because that is exactly what this is. Usually you do a Z fold card at five and a half and two and three quarters. This one is a little bit different. It's um, five and a half and two and a quarter. All right, so we've got our card base <clears throat> correctly done now. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I can't even do numbers today. It's not really a big surprise, but mm. all right, we're gonna go ahead and fold this. So we're making a Z fold card. So I'm gonna make the first fold, which is halfway into the paper here. And I'm I'm realizing I'm really dark because I forgot to turn on my light. Mm. There, we're gonna get a little light on the subject. That is so much better. All right, so I've uh, folded it a mountain fold. And now I'm going to fold on the other score line backwards. Because we we scored it at two and a quarter, that's going to give us some extra um, space to show off this pretty paper. All right. So I'm going to grab, all right, where'd my bone folder go? I found it. It's right where it belongs. <laughs> At least Janine is a math teacher, uh, a college math teacher, right, Janine? So mm, you are my math guru. You're my math go-to. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, you made a mistake on a quiz? Oh my gosh, Did they, they, they totally called you out on that too. All right, so we've got our modified Z fold here. Right there with our handy dandy bone folder makes it nice and flat. Thank you, Jennifer. She's here dropping the um, product numbers on, face, or on YouTube. Shout out to my friends over on Facebook who are tuning in over there. I had to move this because you could see part of the messy part over there. All right, so we've got our card. We're going to grab our paper. All right, we've got some decisions to make. So we could use, um, like Brenda did, we could use the same pattern on both of these, or we could use one pattern on one part of the card and another pattern on, on the other card. So same or different? Let me know in the comments if we're going to go same or different. While you're voting, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one for the inside. Actually, I'm gonna cut the white piece for the inside first, which requires some white cardstock and a paper trimmer. Ah, uh, looks like we're voting for different. Excellent. All right, we're gonna change it up. Oh, we got, we got some votes for same. Few people saying same. I see a few more voting different. So we'll go different. So I'm gonna cut this at four. Oops, no I'm not. Four, your, your cutting blade needs to be in the track for it to cut four by five and a quarter for our inside section. And then I'm going to cut two different patterns of designer paper. So we'll put this pretty one on the inside and this one, cause you get a little bit, it'll show a little bit more than this one. They're both pretty, but we'll, we'll do a little bit more of this one. So this piece right here is two and a half by four. So we go four inches. I love this. It reminds me of like a Victorian wallpaper or something with that pretty scrolly pattern on it. It's just gorgeous. All right, two and a half by four. And that is going to go right there. Okay. And you're right, Fonda, the stripes could go horizontal or they could go vertical. You could go either way on that. Um, let me, let's just take a look and see what we think here. Give me an opportunity to overthink things and I am on board. <laughs> All right, so that's how that part is gonna look. And then these could either go um, that way 
<laughs> oh, come on, Susan. I am not with the program today. Horizontal. That's it. Horizontally. Or we could go uh, vertically. Mm. They both look nice. Uh, let me know in the comments which way we're doing it. Um, Suzanne likes horizontal better. Uh, Fonda was the one that suggested that. I, I kind of agree with you. I think the horizontal ones looks nicely. Let's let's go with horizontal. All right. Yeah, I've got some that say vertical, some say horizontal. It's kind of 50-50. We'll go horizontal on this one. Let's uh, cut this at one and a half inches. one and a half inches by four yep vertical horizontal horizontal vertical <laughs> very evenly split all right and it's one of those minute fine little things right it's it's gonna look good either way all right so we've got this piece here that's gonna tuck back there all right we've got our designer papers cut we do need to do a little bit of die cutting I'm going to set this aside and I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to cut another piece of boho blue and that is going to be for this panel on the front. Okay. So that front piece is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, two and three quarters. And my piece was already four and a quarter. All right, so this is the piece that's going to go here and just kind of make this a little bit wider. And what Brenda did is she kind of split the difference. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just open this up. So she's got it hanging over about a quarter inch there and about a quarter inch there. So um, a lot of storms in uh, northern Illinois right now. Oh, and I'm cutting in and out. Oh, darn it. Um, yeah, it's super windy here in Minnesota. So I'm hoping that's not affecting anything. Um, and it's cold. <laughs> I saw you guys were talking about the weather before I came on. It's We've had a sudden change uh, temperature. It was warm and then all of a sudden it's not warm anymore. All right, we're going to go ahead and emboss this piece right here and then do some die cutting. <laughs> I'm just trying to make my decisions. Mm, okay, let's put this aside and then we'll bring in our wonderful stamp and cut and emboss machine. For some reason, I have two rolls of tear and tape in my way. Okay, they are gone now. And I just put them on top of the adhesive, which means I won't be able to find that later. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna uncover it and put it where it belongs. So save ourselves a found it later, but feel free to hydrate if you so need to. All right, we're gonna go ahead and emboss this piece that's gonna go on that front flap. And we're gonna emboss it, rut row, um, we're gonna, ah, found it. Put the paper trimmer right on, right, right on top of it. All right, so we've got a couple choices. So we talked about that softly sophisticated. We, we could do the, um, ooh, super cell storm. Oh yeah, be safe, Virginia. That sounds a little scary. Um, this, um, we can use this embossing folder. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Or we could use one of these brand new ones. These are coming in the online exclusives that start on March 5th. Um, there are two of them. Um, I can see, you can see what they look like here and here. This one, I don't, I don't think this one really matches our design very well. It's very fun. I used it um, on this card. in our new Crafternoon Fun Fold, which is called the Majestic Fun Fold. That's the one that the blog post is going out very soon. It was very whimsical and it was perfect for this card, but I don't think, this one's a little more elegant. So I don't think that would work with this one. However, um, the other one would, and this this will be a two pack, so you get both of them in the, in the package. So we can use this one, they're called the Fun Patterns. Um, we can use this one, which is the stitch diamond um, for our background, or we could use the softly sophisticated. So let me know in the comments, number one or number two, which one you prefer, number one or number two. Okay. And I am, depending on which one you choose, I have a different sandwich that I need for my die cutting and embossing machine because this one is a 3D folder and this one is a standard folder. So number one or number two. Oh my gosh, I had a whole bunch of ones and then I got a whole bunch of twos. <laughs> it is very neck and neck. Oh my goodness. 
Um, okay, I th think there's a couple more ones, but it's super close. So we'll use the softly sophisticated. It's kind of its swan song, right? It's about to, um, it's about to be retired, or it's about to celebration's about to end. I don't know. It might show up in a future publication. Um, I don't think they've said. Um, sometimes that can happen with a, a embossing folder. Fingers crossed, because it's an awesome one. Let's go ahead and send this through. Clunk. All right. So we've got our pretty pattern. It's just a really nice kind of neutral pattern. Just goes with everything. <laughs> and I lost my paper. Ah, oh, found it. <laughs> and this one's trying to run away. Oh, you can run, but you cannot hide. I will find you paper. All right, there's there's a start to our card. We're, we're, oh, we're doing good. All right, so we do have some options. Um, I am going to, we decided to use the Thoughtful Expressions stamp set, which is right here. Um, and I'm thinking, do we want to use the hummingbird? The, the smaller spray of flowers here? Or the bigger spray? Would that fit? Let's see. Let's look, let's look at our... Um, this, is the piece, this is the biggest one we can fit on our, on our piece. So, um, yeah, any, this one would actually be a little bit small. So do you want to do the flowers or the hummingbird? Let me know in the comments. Flower or hummingbird? And I'm going to find a block for that. It's an any to big one. Looks like Hummingbird is in the lead. So let's bring out, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so embarrassed. This is dirty. Okay, just rub it on my jeans. <laughs> All right, this is block number E. It's nice and big. If you don't have any, if you don't have many blocks, um, you can go with, oh, the first time I've used the hummingbird. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Um, if you don't have a lot of blocks, sometimes you want to go bigger rather than smaller, just so that you make sure, because you can always put a small die on a big block, but you can't put a big, excuse me, a big, you can put a small stamp on a big block, but you can't put a big stamp on a block that's too small for it. All right, did that make any sense at all? Probably not. Okay. Got our hummingbird in place here from our thoughtful expressions stamp set, and let's uh, let's stamp this guy. Um, these nails do not work very well. Okay, there we go. Let's let's do the thing where Susan <laughs> stamps practically on the machine because she's too lazy to move it. Yeah, that thing. You remember how we do that sometimes? There, that's what we're doing. All right, I'm going to grab the Boho Blue pad, ink pad here. Hello from Arizona. Oh, I'm so excited. My hummingbird has not seen ink yet. Look, I don't even have the label on the back. I'm so lazy. I'm just going to ink it up and go. All right, so there we have our hummingbird. I'm going to die cut them out, so I don't really care what... Um, what direction it is. So um, like I didn't tilt it or anything like that because I'm going to die cut it out and then we can make it fly however we want. All right, so we're going to go back in here and we're going to die cut this. All right. Wow, that <laughs> I was looking at it upside down and I'm like, it looks like a flower. It's like, no, Susan, this is the beak. This is the right one. Okay. So we're going to pop it in here. Whoops, I want the scarred up plate on the bottom. So I'm doing the um, the sandwich for die cutting now, which is platform number one, thin die adapter number two, plate number three, then our cardstock and our die. And I don't want this to move because this is a stamped image and the die is made to exactly fit the image. So I'm going to use a post-it note to stick it down and hold it in place. There we go, right there, and then we'll put the top plate on and crank that through. Let's check out our 
hummingbird here. One of the oldest stamp, oldest stamps you have as a hummingbird. They're so cute. Okay, so let's bring our card in here. And we've got our hummingbird right here. We've got our hearts and pieces. And I'm just deciding on if I want to do, I, my die did shift on me a little bit. Do you see how he's got a little bit more white below his beak um, than above it? So I'm going to take this. Not even 100% sure if we're going to use it yet, but can I get this out of here? No, I can't. That's okay. We have more paper. I have a lot of paper. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip this plate over. You do want to flip your plate every time or it will start to curve. And pretty soon you're going to have a candy dish because it's going to dip so much. So flip your plates every time. And once they get really scratched up or too, um, too dipped, um, you go ahead and just get replacements. They are, uh, a, uh, what's the word I want? Um, consumable item, I guess is the word. All right, so um, I'm going to move this for now because I'm still deciding what direction we're going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and put this part of the card together because I'm feeling pretty good about that. So let's grab, uh-oh, the adhesive I, I found. Look at that. It's empty. <laughs> uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's another empty one. Oh, found, found one. Take a sip, everyone. We have an adhesive that has stuff in it. Life is good. Life is happy. We've got, we've got sticky. All right, let's go ahead and stick this on. Cindy is a feeder outside her craft room. Oh, a hummingbird feeder. Oh, they are so fascinating to watch, aren't they? They're just the sweetest birds. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this. Put some adhesive on the moody mauve side of our paper and put up our pretty boho blue side. Right here. All right, so we've got that done. And then we're going to go ahead and stick this piece on back here. And I just wanted, I'm just uh, doing an even border all the way around top, side, and no, top, bottom, and side. This side is obviously a bigger space. All right, so there we have a start to our card. And then this piece is going to go right there. And again, we're just going to kind of split the difference there. So I'm going to stick the adhesive on here because the sides are going to um, overlap. They're going to hang out off each side. And I don't want to put sticky and have it glue my card closed, right? So I'm going to put the sticky on what I'm adhering it to and stick it on that way. All right, so there we have that piece. And then let's see, we're going to, having a lot of hummingbird chatter in the comments. That's awesome. So I am just playing around here to see if I want to put my sentiment on this piece and then pop that up with dimensionals. I'm going to pull out that stamp set here and take a look. The sentiment I want to do was in, you're in my thoughts today. I love that sentiment. There's, we also have, where in the world would I be without you? Sometimes there are no words and enjoy your day, which are all great sentiments. We also have, we also have this one, softly sophisticated. We've got, I really appreciate you. Ooh, let's take a look at that. I really appreciate you. Ooh, I like it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna use softly sophisticated here. That we're we use the dot uh, the embossing folder for it. Now we're gonna use a greeting from the stamp set, and we're gonna put "I really appreciate you" on here. 
Let's stick that on and let's find what Susan did with the ink pad. Are you kidding me? Oh, I put it away. <laughs> I tell you. All right. We've got our boho blue ink pad right here. And we're going to put, I really appreciate you, right near the top of this label. And then we're going to pop up our um, hummingbird here. He's going to be flying a little bit. If you want, you can even curl the wings with a bone folder. I think I'm just going to leave it flat here. Um, I do love dimensionals. Some might say I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> So I'm going to not only pop up the, the hummingbird, I'm also going to pop up this panel right here. I'm going to go right down the middle. Do four, right down the middle. There we go. And we're going to pull these off. Pop it on our card. Now, you absolutely could color this hummingbird if you want to, um, but you don't have to. It is so finely detailed um, with just blue and white. It's just lovely. So I'm not going to color it, and I'm just going to pop that on right here. We'll grab our some more dimensionals, stick them on our little bird. The wobble would be cute because then it would be like flying. And you can kind of make a wobble with just a little um, accordion folded piece of card. <laughs> I'm going like this. You guys don't know what that means, do you? Um, an accordion folded piece of um, of cardstock. All right, we're gonna go ahead. I don't. What direction do, do hummingbird? I mean, they're all kind of all over. You know, they do this thing when they're drinking from the feeder, and they they do a lot of this kind of thing. I'm gonna kind of put them up like this. I think I'll tilt them a little bit like that. Okay. There we go. I appreciate you. And then we're going to add some embellishments around this because, you know, you know, I love embellishments. <laughs> and why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? All right. I realize not everybody does, but um, we're going <laughs> to. So we have some options. Let's let's decide what we want to do to finish off our pretty card here. Our pretty boho blue card. So let's let's look at that. Let me just. Um, mm. I do have. I actually have um, boho blue gems. These are from the 2023-2025 in color dots. So we could use these pretty blue dots on there, or we have the wonderful, always great. Um, iridescent pearls that we could put on there. So they're pearls, but they've got, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. They've got a little bit of iridescent to them, which is often blue. Um, so I think either one would work. So let me know if we're doing dots or pearls. Dots or pearls. Let's vote. <laughs> you could always feather cut paper toll cutting style for add realism to the birds. Oh yeah, you could. I think I'm too lazy for that, but that that sounds amazing. Um, I, it'd be really pretty to to color it as well. So uh, I'm getting lots of votes here. Mm, 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 mm. I think the pearls are in the lead. Oh, I do love pearls. Um, we used on the one of the other Crafternoon Fun Fold cards. Um, this is the one that customers made. So if you place a $50 order in my online store, um, these people placed a $50 order in January. So in February here, they got a packet to make the newest Fun Fold card, which is the Majestic Fun Fold card. So this was the one they made with the beautiful softly stippled designer series paper and pool party. And then these are a, a celebration freebie as well. And so people are placing an order here in February are going to qualify for the March Crafternoon, which is going to be awesome. And no, I don't know when it's going to be yet. <laughs> um, so, oh, I was it was going pearls, and then we got a whole bunch of dots coming in. So, um, Jennifer, what do you vote? <laughs> Put you on the spot here. Um, let's see. We can try them both and see. Let's see. Here's what the pearls are going to look like. And I know on the camera it may be hard to see. I always like to do um, embellishments in threes. So the pearls are very soft, subtle 
elegant look kind of depends on what you're going for right um, you absolutely could do wink of stella mary you are 100 right on that um, so that's what pearls would look like just simply and simple and sophisticated simply sophisticated right uh, no, I think it's softly sophisticated. Whatever it is. Okay, now let's see what the dots look like. Sometimes you got to just stick them on and see what you think, right? At least I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the dots. Oh, this dot got wild on me. Okay, they're both nice. <laughs> they're both nice. I think I, I'm going to go pearls. The pearls are just a little more elegant. Um, it kind of depends who you're sending it to. I'm going to go elegant on this one. Um, but the dots are fun and a nice pop of color too. So mm, there's no wrong answer here. All right. I had them just how I wanted, but I'm not going to remember how, where I had them. <laughs> All right. So I want to tell you who this card is for, who I'm going to send this card to, because I want to thank each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards together. Uh, hopefully we're making the world a kinder place. And hopefully here on these videos, um, I am sparking your creativity so that you uh, make and send even more cards because you're inspired to do so. So um, will this card have a project sheet? Uh, do we want a project sheet for this card? Let me know in the comments. Um, so this card is actually gonna go to our friend, Jennifer Walsh, who is our wonderful moderator hanging out in the comments. Jennifer loves blue. Um, I've known that for, for a very long time that she loves blue. Let me grab our dimensions here and put these out. And so I am gonna be mailing this card to her. And that's why I wanted to do the I appreciate you statement because Jennifer is going to be stepping down from her moderator duties I know we're sad, right? Um, she's got some commitments that have come up that uh, make it impossible for her to be able to continue moderating. And so she'll still be dropping in to see the videos, but it may not be on the live so much, um, but she'll be dropping in to visit us in the comments, but it might be after the fact. So I just wanted to give her a shout out if all of you could um, just please help me thank Jennifer for all she does, um, all she has done for the past year plus. How long has it been, Jennifer? I'm not sure. Has it been, um, I don't even know, um, of moderating our videos because she is amazing and she's just um, does a fabulous job and we um, just love having her here. So Jennifer, you are welcome back anytime. We'd love to see you whenever it works out to pop in. But just a huge thank you. Um, we all appreciate you. <laughs> and um, and thanks everyone for again sending those handmade cards, right? I'm gonna pop uh, I'm gonna pop over here. Hi. So I see in the comments that you would like a project sheet on this one, and I absolutely can do that. So I will add that to my project sheet list. And um, the next one I also got requests for the um, Easter rocker card. So, so Jennifer hugs to you. Thank you so much for all you've done. And, uh, you have an open invitation to come back and, and hang out with us anytime. So, uh, take care everyone. I'm going to wrap us up there. Quick reminder, the, um, tutorial for the new Majestic Fun Fold is about to go out. You can, um, go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe. And you can subscribe for the blog post. This will come out first in a blog post. If you're interested in this project sheet, you can sign up for the project sheets there. Have a great evening, everyone. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll be back Sunday evening at 7.30. No, not Saturday night at 7.30 Central Time. Oh, my camera just went crazy on its own. 7.30 Central Time on Saturday. Hope you can tune in then. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.